Darren Till has reportedly turned down an offer of $2 million to fight Mike Perry in BKFC. Speaking on the MMA Hour, Ari Hawani says that Till turned down a lot of money to face Perry and BKFC. Perry also confirmed that BKFC offered Darren Till $2 million. I heard they offered a lot of money to Darren Till to uh, fight you on this card. Yeah, I heard he said no to, you know, over $2 million. So, Damn. you know. Are you surprised? Uh, Darren, Darren is just, he's just yapping away over there. Um... You know, that a lot of guys say they want to do it with boxing gloves or with, with gloves, uh, at least of some kind. And, you know, with the UFC, with the BKFC contract, you know, I have I have that money is there. Those fights will happen in the future at some point. Uh, but it gives me, you know, a big part of the contract is that I can do uh other things as well and if the right money comes along it just has to be right because i'm being paid very handsomely over here in bkfc and uh if you know after this fight it's like all i've been doing was promoting for them and and i'm focused on this fight but you know just to branch out and and put my ideas and my my thoughts uh is that you know i have a big opportunity to make the same amount of money if the right promoters come together uh, to make fights happen in other uh, places. So, you know, Darren Till said no to that much money, then, you know, I don't know what he's looking for. As of now, Darren Till does seem to be training full time and is training at a professional boxing gym, Power Box Liverpool. Personally, I do think he will accept the $2 million offer from BKFC, but he probably wants to get a warm up fight first. Going up against Mike Perry for his first bare knuckle boxing fight is probably not a good idea because Mike Perry is a killer in bare knuckle and he's on a tear right now. I think Darren Till will probably get a warm up fight in one of these YouTuber boxing influencer events first, get a little bit of experience in the boxing world, and then fight Mike Perry later on this year. The next story Conor McGregor shares new sparring footage ahead of his fight with Michael Chandler. So this week it was announced that Conor McGregor will be making his long awaited return after 3 years away from the UFC and will be facing Michael Chandler at UFC 303 on June 29th. A lot of people are writing off Conor McGregor in this fight but people tend to forget historically Conor has done very well against the small stocky wrestler types like Michael Chandler. In his new sparring footage Conor seems to be in very good shape and he's showing flashes of his former self working on spinning attacks, head kicks and body shots. These are the same strikes he used against other stocky wrestler types such as Marcus Brummage, Dennis Siva and Chad Mendes.
For the final story, Joaquin Buckley says Justin Gaethje should retire following his KO loss to Max Holloway. Joaquin Buckley reacts to Justin Gaethje vs Max Holloway at UFC 300 and says it was the greatest knockout he's ever seen. Joaquin also says Gaethje is getting older and has taken too much damage. He also says Gaethje has made plenty of money and there's no reason for him to keep on fighting. Oh, I mean, you, you couldn't script it, you couldn't write it better, right? Uh, 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 a beautiful performance by Max Holloway, all four rounds, getting to the fifth, straight go to war with Justin Gaethje, 10 seconds left, he point down at the ground like, come get this work, come get this work, and Justin Gaethje's like, fuck it, I ain't got nothing to lose, and they go toe to toe, and they banging, swinging, bow, 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 and Max Holloway said, well, I seen Mike do this shit one time, body, body, head, and smash Justin Gaethje right into the goddamn canvas. I think it is one of the greatest moments in UFC history. I cannot deny that. Like I said, you couldn't you couldn't script that any better. But you know, I still got to give myself flowers. My knockout is still number one. Because regardless of Max Holloway and doing what he did, which was beautiful now. Y'all want to call me a hater, but it was beautiful now. And I'm saying it was beautiful. Y'all will probably never see the knockout that I did. Ever again. Just, just ain't never going to be the same after that. I ain't going to lie. Hey, bro, I was just talking to my boy Charles about that. And uh, because you already know, Justin Gaethje has been knocked out before, but that was a bad one. That was probably one of the worst ones I've seen, uh, just knockouts in general. But definitely for Justin Gaethje, man, yeah, he, he going to have to take a lot of good time. But he already old, you know, not old like that, but when he 36, 35, like when these dudes get up in that age, because I'm, I'm right there around the corner. You know, I'm about to be 30, April 27, shout out to me. I'm about to be 30, the big 3-0, so I ain't got no time to lose. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get as much as I can about this sport. Uh, but you know these dudes done done everything they needed to do, so I don't know why they still want to be fighting. Like nigga, you done made your money, boy. Man, I'll sit your ass. The service breaking up on me out here, y'all. But yeah, just, somebody could tell Sean Brady, man, holler at me, bro. You know, STL, man, we need a new main event. Come on, come on, holler at me, Sean Brady. Why, why, why this dude block me, right? Why this dude block me? And this dude that I'm talking about is one of my peers, one of my fellow fighters, one of the ranked opponents, uh, Sean Brady. What's the word? Why you block me, man? Somebody, somebody tag that man. Somebody holler at him, DM, cause I can't. I'm blocked. I'm blocked. I, I gotta, I gotta know what's up. So anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, please like this video and subscribe for more MMA news.